Hi everyone. I am Dorothy Nam. Nice to meet you. And I will be your Korean buddy. So I will be your buddy who's kind enough to teach you Korean. So be kind to your kind buddy. Um, with me, you will be learning Hangul, which is the Korean alphabet, and you will be able to read and write Korean in no time. So stay with me. Um, before we start, I will tell you the difference between the Korean language and the Korean alphabet. You see the difference? You don't? I'll tell you. Um, this is the Korean language, which is pronounced Han Guk Mal. Um, Han Guk means Korea, and Mal means language. So together, Korean language Han Guk Mal. You get it? Um, the bottom one here is what we're trying to learn. It's Han Gul. Han Gul. And Han is actually from Hanguk, Hanguk, which is, you know, Korea. And Kul is, means writing in Korean. So, Korean writing, Korean alphabet. You see, this is what Korean speak and this is what Korean write. So, for example, if I say 안녕하세요, which I'm sure you all, you all know, which is um, hello. If I say 안녕하세요, it will be Korean language. If I, you know, write down 안녕하세요, it would be the Korean alphabet, 한글. So, what you see over here is 한글. Get it? The interesting thing about Hangul is that it's an invention. Well, you get it? Um, you know, most languages are actually developed through time. But Hangul was, you know, invented. I know Koreans like to brag a lot, but this is not bragging. It's just the truth. I'm just telling you the truth. Um, this is the book that has all the re records on Hangul and how it was invented. Um, it includes who, when, where, why, and how Hangul was invented. Um, let's look a little closer. Who made Hangul? Well, he made it. And he is King Sejong. Um, unlike other kings who like to like, uh, you know, drink, eat, um, have a nice time with girls, um, he actually cared about his people. And, you know, um, if you see um, the Korean build, the 10,000 one, um, the green one, um, you will see his face on it. He's like a model of the bill. Um, and um, the reason why he got to make Hangul is that before Hangul, we had the Korean language, but we didn't have the writing. So we spoke Korean, but we wrote down Chinese characters. And as you know, Chinese characters have a lot and a lot. There are just too many of them, and it's almost impossible for everyone to know the Chinese characters. So only the top class knew how to read and write. The common people, they could not. They could only speak. And, you know, King Sejong, he actually loved his people. He wanted to give them a lot. But in order to give them what they need, he needed to hear, the, hear their voice listen to them and listen to what they need and what they want. Um, but, you know, they couldn't write, they couldn't read, so he had trouble doing so, and that's why he invented Hangul. Just because he loved his people and he wanted to give them education. Some king, huh? Um, Hangul has 24 letters. And 24 letters is all you have to know in order to read and write Hangul. Um, 24 letters might be so, 
might not be so touching. So um, if I give you a comparison, um, it's, almost, it's almost half of the English alphabet, and it's half of Japanese alphabet. So just so you get the idea of how little letters Korean have. Um, these are vowels. There are a ton of them, and right now they might look like a bunch of lines, bunch of, you know, lines and lines. But if you get to know them, you'll get to see how easy they are. And we have 14 consonants. These may look like a bunch of squares and weird looking circles, but as you get to know them, you will see there is nothing as easy. Just so you get the idea of Hangul, let's try to read Hangul in Hangul. You know? Hangul in Hangul. Okay, um, see this word. Let's look at this word. See this consonant over here? This has the h sound, h, h, and this vowel over here it has the ah sound, so ha, 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 and you see the bottom one over here, it has the n sound, n, n, so if you put it together, it's han, han. Get it? You just read one syllable. Let's move on to the next one. See over here as the g sound. G. G. And the bottom one over here. U. U. Uh, uh. You have to like put a little smile on your face. U. Uh, U. Uh. So together it's g. G. And this one over here is the l sound, l, l. Put it all together, it's gul, gul. You get it? Han gul, han gul. Get it? Now you just read two syllables in Korean in han gul, and that means you are two steps closer to reading han gul. Um, with me, you'll be able to read and write Hangul, and I'll be your guide, your Korean buddy, whichever you feel comfortable. Stay with me. You will be there. You will be able to read Hangul. I'll see you next time. Bye.